Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be asking strangers to pick out a full face of new makeup for me. A few weeks ago I did a video at the mall where I had some strangers pick out a new outfit for me. And it left me wondering, what would strangers decide to put on my face? So today, like last time, I'm going to have different people choose different items, building on each other's choices to create a complete new makeup look. I'm also coincidentally at that point with a lot of my makeup where I've run out of some stuff, so I could either repurchase or try something new. So I'm excited to see what products people choose and how they decide to build the look. Like, are they gonna be going for something more wearable, like an everyday day look or a more edgy avant-garde look or are they just going to troll me anything is possible really okay let's go so we are on our way to the mall right now i'm not going to put like a set price cap on anything but we'll try and you know stay reasonable also as a side note i brought my own brushes beauty blender primer and setting powder just because those aren't like really exciting things to ask someone else to pick out for me as part of my look they're necessary but they're just not as exciting i feel like last time i started off with clothes on yeah this time my face is bare blank canvas so i'm naked so there's nothing to inspire anyone is there a decent amount of people here a lot of people so, you know, I guess it's time to make some new friends. So I wanted to start off with foundation and concealer. So this is Jessica. <laughs> um, Jessica's gonna help me pick out my foundation and concealer. Is there one that you like in particular? Um. No. So Jessica told me that she doesn't have a lot of experience with makeup, but in general, I thought it would be fun to see what anyone would pick, not just people who know a lot about makeup. Yeah. So this will be an exciting it, adventure. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be something. Okay, perfect. So where do you want to go? We can go here. I actually bumped into Jessica right outside of the NYX stores, and although she doesn't wear a ton of makeup, she knew what foundation and concealer were. I'm a little pale. You're it's little true. Pale. Especially for the summer. Jessica was very decisive. I do this one. This one? Yeah. And picked up this foundation, which is the Total Control Drop Foundation in the color Light. Then Jessica went in for the concealer. This one. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Right? What do you think? I think that'll match fine. She picked the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the color Glow. I asked her if she wanted to swatch and she said, That's like dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll work. Yeah. And if anything, you can always warm it up, you know, with some bronzer later on in the, the project. Exactly. <laughs> Jessica's just like, I'm gonna leave that for someone else. <laughs> so I got these two and put them on my face. So let's um, try it on, shall we? Yeah. I think we got some mirrors over here. Maybe we'll just hijack their setup. I would say directionally their color matches. I think the concealer is actually quite a good match. That looks like it's gonna work. Yeah. That looks great. This foundation I've never used before and I thought it was nice, kind of like light and watery. Not super, super full coverage, but actually kind of a nice feeling. No swatching life. I think it's like a little bit pale, but like definitely like my skin tone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you did a great job. I had a little bronzer to tone it up, you know? Yeah, see? She knows. So for someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup and refused to swatch, I think Jessica did a really good job picking the products and a pretty good job picking the colors. Mostly Jessica confirmed that you just have to work quickly. <laughs> you are amazing. High five. Hey. I guess living dangerously is the way to go. Okay, so um, I did a quick application job, so it's not quite perfect. What I'm gonna do right now is just add some setting powder, and then the next person I'm gonna ask for brows and eyeshadow. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with Victoria and Derek, and they are gonna help me pick out some brows and some eyeshadow. Renee, what do you guys think? I got foundation and concealer on. I think it matches pretty well to your skin. There we go, Jessica did a good job. Yeah. Okay, cool, so where should we go? Uh, probably Sephora. Victoria actually had a little bit more experience with makeup, so for eyeshadow, she chose this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Woodstock. Okay, awesome, this is great. Which is something that she doesn't own, but she really wanted to try. So I was just like the human swatch. So we swatched a couple, but we're gonna go with Woodstock. Derek, what do you think? She knows best, I'll just dress it. <laughs> well, and then you said eyebrows? Yes. Okay, I mean, Anastasia's hand scent this the greatest. I agree. <laughs> and then for eyebrows, she chose her favorite product, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. I think I that think works. So. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I feel like it might be a little too dark, but I mean, 
I think it looks that's good. That's a lot. <laughs> I love that it's just staying on your finger. You're like, like can uh, this come off now? <laughs> that's how you know it works. Okay, so let's try it on. Let's do the brows first, how about? So look fresh at, and nice. I know, look how fresh it is. <laughs> do you want to watch me destroy it? So I think that in the store, I kind of applied the eyebrow stuff a little bit too heavily, just because I'm used to my eyebrow product, which is a little bit on the lighter side. Oh, this is some serious stuff, man. It is, oh wow. I don't know. I mean, it's like definitely like, an impactful brow. So I mean, sometimes I go a little heavy-handed and I'm like, Sharpie. Same, <laughs> yeah. same. Now let's go in with some Woodstock. You're living out my dream by putting this on your eyes. <laughs> this is a lot of pressure suddenly. Can you do a cut crease on the go? I just suddenly transform into Nikki tutorials. <laughs> what are you thinking, Derek? How are you feeling? I look really nice. Oh, thank you. Well with your skin tone. I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, but I really like this shade. Do you want me to go in more heavy with it or do you think like a lighter touch um, is better? More. Yeah, a little bit more. More. Yeah. Victoria says more. If you're gonna more. do color, might as well go all out. Oh. I did a look where I did one green eye and one pink eye, and it looked uh, interesting. That sounds awesome. It looked very interesting. Yeah. Derek remembers. <laughs> I think that Victoria, with the help of Derek, of course, kind of like set the stage with this bold look of pink eyeshadow and a bold brow for future choosers to kind of hold on to and like style around. I think it's great. Derek like likes it. it. Yeah. Derek does like it. I like if it If Derek likes it, then we're ready to roll. That's a Derek's CEO of approval. And I think that they did a great job because both of these products are great and I think they look really good. In Derek's words, <laughs> interesting. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Eyebrows and eyeshadow, but chick. Okay, so I think Victoria and Derek did a great job choosing. I really like this pink color. I'm gonna sit down and clean up all the stuff that's happened so far. Um, and then we're gonna find someone to help me pick out some eyeliner and some mascara. So I am here with Daniel and America, and they're gonna help me pick out some eyeliner and some mascara. So uh, what do you guys think of what I've got going on so far? Kinda edgy. Looks edgy. <laughs> Feeling edgy? Yeah. All right, so let's go with that. So Daniel and America took us back to NYX and started looking around for some edgy eyeliner and mascara. That one looks great, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to swatch it? Sure. Oh, that's fun. So Daniel picked out this NYX Glam Liner in Glam Lagoon. I think in general, he was just going for edgy, but I think he was also trying to match the kind of like summery energy of the eyeshadow. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're into this. And then some mascara. Anything? There was a second when America wanted to put me in some blue mascara. America's got like a devious look on her face. She's like, yes, yes, we shall. But after looking at what Daniel had picked, she decided to go for something more classic. That one looks cool. So she picked out the Badunkadunk Lush Lashes Mascara. Badunkadunk. Into it, yeah, all right. Do you like the, the Badunkadunk? <laughs> That's what we're going for. Apparently it is Badunkadunk and not Badonkadonk, like I had previously thought. Okay, so I've got uh, Daniel's Glam Lagoon and America's Badunkadunk. So let's let's put these guys on. I've never tried out either of these products and I think they're both pretty fun. This is kind of awesome. I look like a watermelon. It's a summer well, watermelon look. You look like a watermelon. Yeah. Was that intentional, Daniel? Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, do one eye fully so they can see. And then I'm gonna sit down and really try and make them even. So this is the Badunkadunk. I'm also very glad that we picked up just something that's just called Badunkadunk. Ooh, look at this thick brush. Do you like it, you think? Yeah, does it look Badunkadunky? <laughs> or Dunky, Badunkadunky? Ta-da! I like it, it looks good. I like it too. Is the Badunkadunk all we could have ever dreamed of? Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've got mascara and eyeliner, chick. So next up, I had to do like cheek and face stuff. So contour, blusher, bronzer, and highlight. Okay, so I bumped into Lynette right after we walked out of the NYX store. So obviously my other eye is not yet finished, but Lynette is gonna help me pick out some like bronzer, blush, cheek stuff, and some contour. So what do you think of what I've got going on right now? Oh. This side is finished, yeah. so. I love the, the bright teal eyeliner. So at first Lynette told me that she doesn't usually contour or wear a lot of makeup in general besides lipstick. So whatever your heart says, you know, we'll just okay. go with. Or yeah. you could go wild and just like, <laughs> just like totally troll me. Black and bright red. Okay, so Lynette's taking me to Macy's. So we're gonna have a great time. See, you get to warm me up a little bit. I'm a little a little on the pale side right now. Oh. So you get to bring me back to life. Oh, oh they have NYX stuff here, so. Can't escape the Knicks. <laughs> As we started shopping, Lynette revealed that she actually does watch makeup tutorials fairly often. So although she doesn't contour herself, she actually knew a decent amount about how to do it. This looks nice, amber, gold. That one looks nice, yeah. Wow, a lot of, we're, we're going. Ooh, we're going shimmery. I can see and that. we're glowing. Where is that? Hello? Hello? 
We'll ask someone. We'll okay. get that one. Yeah. So even though we were in Macy's, we somehow couldn't escape the NYX. I'm feeling this one. Yeah. All right. So let's get that one. Oh, yeah. and blush. We've got it all. Nothing too bright because your eyes are incredible. <laughs> My single eye is incredible right now. So she picked out the NYX Cheek Contour Palette in Two to Tango and the NYX Blush in Pink the Town. And she also picked out this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Ultimate Glow. It's gonna be awesome. I have a couple of these NYX HD blushes, which I really like. I haven't tried the other two products though. And I think in general, they were all like nice wearable colors. Okay, which one did you like? The Amber Gold. Amber Gold. Yeah. Let's go for amber gold. I have heard from some people that they think this thing is too glittery, and it is a little bit on the glittery side, but sometimes you just need to glitter. Lynette, it's happening. It's appearing <laughs> slowly but surely. Lynette, is this inspiring you to do your first contour? <laughs> I mean, my mom probably won't allow me, but in secret, yes. Cool, I think I think that looks pretty. What do you think? Do you gotta look more good. alive? Yes. Awesome. We've got cheeks and stuff. Check. Great job, Lynette. Backwards high five. That was actually okay. That wasn't that <laughs> bad of a high five. Contact, yeah. So next, I was finally ready for the finishing touch. Lipstick. So I am here with Tina and Stephen. We bumped into them right outside of Sephora. And no, I have not had a chance to finish my other eye. But they are gonna help me out and pick the finishing touch, the lipstick. Ignore this side of my face. What do you guys think of the look I have going on so far? I look like a bird. I look like a bird. What's yeah. a bird? I forgot. A peacock? Bird. Peacock. Oh, I look yeah. like a peacock. So I think Tina was inspired to balance out the tropical vibe of the eyes with a darker lip color. This is like a really bright atmosphere here. And yeah, then something, something serious. Yeah. So party on top, business on bottom. Yeah, and oh. I know it would match with her eyebrows. So do you guys want like a liquid lipstick or like a stick? Maybe matte. Maybe matte? Yeah. yeah, that could be great. So there's some like matte lipsticks over here, these guys and these guys. So whatever you guys think could be fun. Now, a few minutes into our second time filming in Sephora, they kicked us out. So Tyler took the camera outside and Steven, Tina, and I finished picking the lipstick inside. So we like this color, which is called um, Exorcism. I was going for something a little darker, like maybe Vampira. So the one on top is Vampira. You guys like that one? Yeah. Perfect, all right, let's go with it. So they picked out this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Vampira. Ready? Regardless of how this goes with the rest of the look, I definitely feel like this is a color that is up my alley. My application leaves something to be desired. I'll clean it up. What do you guys think, in general, of the idea? Yeah. It's like really subtle because then there's like not everything's dark like the eyeshadow and everything is really like sweet sweet yeah. Spicy yeah <laughs> it Does look like spicy pepper great. Thanks guys. Great job <laughs> Awesome lipstick the chick. Okay, so this is my finished look I feel like I look a little festive like we've got some green and some red going like Christmas in July I also feel a little bit like a Olympic gymnast or synchronized swimmer like these are the colors of my country's flag And I'm repping them with some like serious waterproof makeup I do also feel like Steven said like a bird like there's something bird like about this like I've got some feathers and some prey that I'm holding in my talons. I think of all of the products, my favorites were the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. I think they're actually a really fun combination, not necessarily something that I would choose out for myself or like wear on a daily basis, but I think they're actually really pretty. Though some bold choices were made, and at times I did feel like a human swatch, I didn't feel like anyone was trying to troll me. Like I felt like everyone was trying to build on the previous choices to like make something. I can't exactly say what it is, but I don't not like it. I think I do like it. So a big thank you to everyone who helped me choose today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily blogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Matilda for watching. Thanks for watching Matilda and I will see you guys a next time.